Hello, today's video topic is uh, obesity and uh, uh, you can say morbid obesity and pregnancy related complications in a women. So, uh, in the previous videos, we have talked about obesity, morbid obesity, causes, you know, complications, and you know, all those one of the main complications we are talking about uh, infertility. Now, okay, we have an obese lady has become pregnant. So, what are the complications or uh, uh, she should look for or what can happen? Uh, uh, we can divide into early pregnancy and late pregnancy. In the early pregnancy, the most common is repeated or uh, the spontaneous abortion. For no uh, known reason, they can get abortion. So, uh, abortion is one of the main uh, complications in the early pregnancy. And repeated abortion is another one. So, generally, abortion and repeated abortion is 1 to 2 percent higher than the normal uh, weight uh, group of women uh, in, in obese people. Uh, apart from that, uh, uh, the children they can also have some uh, complications like uh, congenital anomalies, neural defect, uh, spina bifida, or cardiac molar, uh, anomalies. They can happen uh, in an obese lady who is pregnant uh, to the child. Um, okay, once the early pregnancy is over, they are going to the next level. The complications will be more to the women, like uh, hypertension. There's a uncontrolled you know very severe hypertension can happen preeclampsia this is you know uh, uh, this is only a, a deadly complication of uh, pregnancy uh, this is more in uh, obese women uh, gestational diabetes uh, 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 women little overweight they are prone for gestational diabetes this gestational diabetes can indirectly affect the child also and uh, they can have a, a non proteinuric you know uh, 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 kidney problems, uh, they can get you know DVT. Uh, these are the uh, usual uh, complications you can expect in you know, obese women who is pregnant. Then in the late pregnancy, again you know uh, since they are obese, uh, they may not be able to have a very normal delivery. Uh, they may not be able to push the baby normal, or even the uterine uh, tone may not be that good. So they may require a cesarean. Uh, 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 section cesarean surgery for the daily normal delivery. So again, the cesarean uh, we need to give anesthesia. You know, in a normal person, we are going for uh, uh, cesarean spinal anesthesia is enough. But obese people they may require general anesthesia. So the complications of general anesthesia is there, or even spinal anesthesia there are complications are there. And even the, during the surgery itself, you know, uh, the bleeding will be more. Uh, a wound infection is very high, scar endometriosis is very high. Uh, in the immediate post op period, they can get DVT, thromophil blight, you know, uh, deep end thrombosis. Uh, uh, bleeding, the postpartum bleeding, that is, uh, you know, very, 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 uh, very high. And the children also, uh, you know, uh, because of the uh, overweight mother, even the birth weight will be increased. Normally, if it is 2.5 to 3. 3.25 kg, they may weigh 4.5, 4.2, more than 4 kg. So the baby itself will weigh more. Because of the weight of the baby, again, normal delivery is not possible or you know it can complicate the uh, uh, delivery. And not only that, of course, if, if everything goes smooth, uh, the mother is safe in spite of obesity, the child is also okay in spite of you know, all these things. But the child will in the future definitely be obese. So, Obese mothers will have a obese children, the, even the later age group. So, uh, discuss with your uh, gynecologist or the doctor. Keep your weight uh, or reduce your weight even before the surgery. Or you ask the your gynecologist how much of weight you can gain during your pregnancy and have a very safe pregnancy and delivery. Thank you.